Today we have arrived in Minehead. It looks amazing. We're going to have a good walk around, have a look at the front area, the beach area, and a lot the high street, all the shops. And it's just starting here, so we're going to find the interesting areas. Walk around for a long time today, a few hours, and I'll point out some really interesting and beautiful things. I've drove through the seafront already, and it's fantastic. It looks brilliant. I'm really impressed. So you're in for a treat with this video. Join me as we walk through Minehead. We are starting our journey at this hotel bar called Stones on the corner. Look at people just sitting outside, it's a beautiful day. It's about 28 degrees right now. There's a lot of fantastic looking little shops, eatery places. It goes on and on and on. Today is a perfect day to do this. It is absolutely beautiful weather. I couldn't pick a more beautiful day to do it. We have the seafront just over there in front of us. I got scooters you can hire. You've got this app at one pound to unlock and then it's 10p per minute and that works out to six pound per hour which is quite a lot right? And we got these dolls everywhere just sitting in random places. Look how amazing this looks man. The vibes are just incredible. We got the uh, mini golf course. Now we have ice creams, hot and cold drinks and snacks, pasties. I'm actually ready for a pasty. I'm gonna get one I think. Well look, to a little dog on a scooter or something. Two fifty black, thank you sir. Proper, thank you very much. Appreciate it, thank you. Hello. Are hey, you cash on there? No, either. All right, okay, that's good. Yeah, we take Kruger on, we take diamonds anyway. <laughs> <laughs> for a corn brokers really, this is just a front. <laughs> there you go, that's a fiver please, thank you. Yeah, I'm looking for a pasty, please. Oh, absolutely. Sorry, I'm going yeah. there. No, I've only got hot dogs and I've got sort right. of uh, donuts and that's all I've got now, I'm afraid. All Sorry, right, cheers. There's a chip shop over the road and there's a good chip shop down there, actually. Oh, is there, what's it called? On this side, on the pavement down yeah. there, there's one on your right arm. What's it called? The Cod Shop, I think it's the called. The Cod Shop, right. I might go but later. Very good. Yeah. yeah, okay, thank you. The Minehead Maritime Mile Trial, the Victorian Edwardian Seaside Resort. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. The Minehead Beach, where so you can walk all the way down to the end, and that goes on and on and on and on and on. And I'm just hungry, so I didn't have much lunch, just a cake. So I think I'm gonna go to that cod shop and get some chips or something, just something to tie me over. The cod shop, is it? Not open. So the guy said this place is amazing. Not open till five o'clock. Sugar, cafe, and bar. Looks nice. Jack's here, you can buy all your beach gear. Fine looking place. I think this is Church Hall, I'm not sure. I just went in Greg's just over there and just got this sandwich and a drink. I'm not one for sandwiches really, but in this hot weather, I'm ready for it. You can see what a lovely high street, how it looks. Love the flower beds as well. Outside the lovely looking market house. The high street's lovely and all, but I say let's get to the beach. Yeah, we want to be by the water, don't we? We found this ginnel going down here after high street and a gardens to go and look at, so I think it'd be rude not to. No doubt it was beautiful. Yeah, look at that. A wide variety of plants and flowers. Lovely palm tree here. Look at that. What a place to come and chillax, eh? And all these flowers, look at these. All starting to bloom. Look at that. All the bees. Lots of bees around here. These are very colourful, aren't they? Yeah. And we got the rose. Isn't that nice? Big B. We're gonna walk over to the box over there, right at the end. Look how calm and beautiful it looks. The nice little beach and the harbour at the end. We'll go and check that out next. So you can see how fine it looks. I love the look of this hill. Don't you? It's just iconic. When you see the pictures of mine here, you just notice this this hilly lump of a hill and it just like makes it looks so photogenic and 
and beautiful and I love how green it is too. Just the seagulls are so happy. Just an awesome looking place. I'm really interested and I'm sure you are too. That's what it's like over, over the end. We see the sailing boat already. Someone's going out, why not? Perfect for a stroll. Absolutely magnificent Somerset coastline. What a mind being on that sport there, having to sail around with you guys. One day maybe, no maybe about it, one day we'll do it. It's like the Mediterranean right now. Absolutely stunning and look at that view. Fantastic. He's my head. I love the look of that yacht. Just sailing away in these calm waters. Just speaking to a local and they they asked me if something's going on down in the harbour because there's a lot of people walking this way. Of course, I've no idea, I've not been there. They live here. So we'll see what it's like. Here we have the sign marking the southwest course path. It's a bit of a map there. West Somerset course path. Southwest course path this way. A little high up, you can see. How magnificent it is. Just a wonderful moment actually. Really nice cottages, wooden doors, I love the wooden framework on the windows. Yeah, lovely. And here we have the beautiful harbour. How stunning does that look? You alright? Steamers coming in. Paddle steamers, the Waverley. Alright, okay. I don't see anything. It's up there, right in front of us there, on the horizon. I think it's the only ocean going paddle steamer in the world. The original one, the Waverley, got sunk at Dunkirk in the, right. in the war. Are you living here? Yeah. Yeah, alright, cool. Yeah, beautiful place, first time here. Oh, well, yeah. What is the best places to see in Minehead? Well, it all depends whether you want to walk or not. Because <laughs> there's plenty of places to walk to. If you want to go up on the hills, yeah. you can go that way. Over cliff. Oh yeah. It takes you up on North Hill here. All oh, right, that must be amazing. The views there. Yeah. See, this must be the fire. Yeah. The the bloke who lived there was in his well, he's in. I don't know whether he's still alive. He's in his eighties. Yeah. But uh, he wasn't living there. He wasn't there at the time. He was mm. staying with somebody up in Dalton, and they had an electrical surge from the street, and that's what caused the fire. Last, last year, year, last year, yeah. Last November. So you can see a lot of people over there. Must be waiting for this ship coming in. I think it's a bit of a moment. We're here at the right time. Here we've got the old ship, I go round. What a place. And we've got the steam, the steamer vehicle going on there. You don't see that every day, do you? We're always on the home for the best places, the best viewpoints and the best experiences. Look at it over there. So yeah, we see everyone sitting outside. We're doing a demonstration that looks like. It's walky one, I can, I can smell it. It's in the air. It's a beautiful little point this, a lot going on, people hanging around and people even swimming. So let's go and try and get a spot so we can get some good video footage of this Waverley.
Sometimes you go to places and get lucky. We certainly have here. So that were a really special moment, I think. I've got some facts about it now. Waverley is the last seagoing passenger carrying paddle steamer in the world, built in 1946. A miracle to see that. What a great thing to see. You can smell the coal actually. It's quite strong. It's not pleasant. It's great. I'll tell you a little story. I was going to come here yesterday, I set out to come to here but realised it was a bit late and I thought I'd save it until today. So yesterday I went to Bridgewater instead. I'm so happy I did because we wouldn't, wouldn't ever have seen that. So the things you see when you just do things. At this time, go to the chippery and get the good old fish and chips, which I'm debating to get myself or not. See, just over there, sea view takeaway. We're doing well for time today, 25 to 6. we just got to go for some amusements, I think. So let's have a quick gander. 500 pound jam pot slots in there. Very quiet now, isn't it? Big wheel. Would you like one of these? How would you prefer one of these? Is that a sloth? Super Mario? Teddy bear? Red dogs? And what are those? Here's Queen's Hall? Is that a video? Yep. Just getting a video of look at the place. Getting a video first, of the place. First what time is it here. Really? Is it really video? Yeah, it's a video camera. Oh, I can yeah. talk to <laughs> You can be on the video for sure. <laughs> yeah. So what's this place then? This is called Queen's Hall and we do the best ice creams ever. Here we've got Merlin's Abusements. A bit of a gander. Here we've got Tip Mario again. More grabbers. Coin things. And yeah, you get the gist. So this one, a UFO, an alien, twenty quid. Variety footballs, they look cool, don't they? You know, it would have been complete if we didn't go to the water. So I think this is that opportunity. Here we go, Minehead Beach. Got bathing water quality. Let's 
go and investigate this water, eh? See what it's like. How, how clear it is. Good, only good. And you know, is, is that enough? Good quality. Oops, there we go. We touched it. Job done. We touched the water. entrance to Butlins in Minehead. There we go. Need a pass to get past that bit. A lot of music. We've got the fur ground. Not a tiff now, because it's late in the day. There we go. Bumper cars is it? Yeah, bumper cars. It'd be so cool if they were all active. I'm gonna head back and go and find somewhere to eat so I've just checked there's a wheelhouse restaurant a British restaurant averaging 4.7 stars the West Somerset Railway buffer stop Got an old train to look at. Let me see inside. Yeah, nice cozy table and chairs there. Look. And you can see the uh, old suitcases here. Look at them. What they used to use them back in the day. What a cool place. What do you think? This is an interesting front carriage, isn't it? Yeah, we're getting told off. <laughs> I don't know if we're being a bit too snoopy or what. Ah, we got one coming, eh? Okay, good timing. Let the camera roll. Look at this. in time, pretty epic, right? Things you see when you just stroll about. The wheelhouse is just down this way, apparently. 
Well, back to the cod shop, and that's open now. So we found the restaurant, real house restaurant. We're gonna walk in and get some food. I checked the menu online, it looks pretty decent. Everything is fully booked. All right, no problem. Yeah, no worries, mate. I don't think everyone's chewing about now. Well, it's an in-demand restaurant. I'm sure it would have been amazing. They had a good British menu there. Um, it's kind of a, it's kind of a the hurry dog or the cod shop. I will go for the fish and chips. It feels right today. It feels like fate. Yeah. It's Large cod, yeah, and um, chips and curry sauce, please. Alright, awesome. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Number 531. Well, this is a super large cod, and it's really good, actually. And the curry sauce. I'm really enjoying it. Lovely. Fish and chips, gone down very well. Actually, the most expensive cotton chips, fish and chips, I've had in my life for a big fish, chips, and curry. I think it was £12.80. Thanks for watching, it's been a brilliant day. Love seeing the ship and the railway, just magnificent. And what do I think in my head? I think it's been awesome, but much better than I expected. Wonderful place. I'm gonna walk down to the car. I'll see you in a video very soon. Peace.